Yo, what is up YouTube? Trilog here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the black UI bug on Synapse Z. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, I'll go ahead and show you exactly what it is. Um, as if you guys saw my last video, you guys should know what this executor is, one of the best executors out right now. Um, but there is a bug with this executor. Now, when you go ahead, actually, hold on, I opened the wrong file. <laughs> my bad guys when you actually go ahead and attach this executor as you can see i just did it gives you this unskippable like unclosable black frame as you guys can see you can't see your game uh it will go away if you click on another window if you have two monitors but if you click back it just stays there and you can't play the game you can't really do anything and if you press the uh keybind obviously to open the executor and then close it again it doesn't go away um but there's actually an easy fix for this so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to actually fix this so the first step would be to close roblox so we're just going to go ahead and close it and then also close the executor as well as you can see now the next step is going to be to go into the uh description below and click on the first link and it will bring you over here to boots or block strap and this is going to be what you're going to use to fix it it's basically a better launcher than roblox launcher if that makes sense there's a whole bunch of settings um, such as using old def sounds unlocking fps all that good stuff um, but basically the first step on what you're going to want to do is just download block strap <clears throat> so i'm going to go ahead and download it now as you can see you're going to click download and then click save and then once that saves uh, once that finishes downloading, you're just going to go ahead and open it. Now, once you open it, you can go ahead and select whatever language you want. I'm just going to do system default and you're going to press OK. Now, this is all of the settings that you can do. You can go through here and scroll through all of these settings yourself and find out like which ones you want to add. Um, but there is one that you have to add. Now, if you go overhead and go over to mods, so you go over to mods on the left and you scroll down all the way to miscellaneous. You have to turn this on. Disable full screen optimizations. If you turn this on, it'll go ahead and fix it. If you keep it off though, it's not going to fix the black UI. But uh, yeah, so that's really the only thing I'm going to use. Well, I'm going to turn on these actually because this is pretty nice. Um, actually, I'm going to turn this one off. I do like the old avatar editor and yeah. And we can use, you can use specific emojis as well. Um, and yeah, this is a pretty cool app. But for the sake of this video, I'm only going to be showing you guys the disable full screen optimizations feature. And yeah, so after you turn it on, go ahead and press install. It's going to go ahead and tell you where to find it and whatnot. But we're going to just press install. It's going to go ahead and install Roblox. Now, this is how you're going to have to launch Roblox as well. It's not too hard. I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that as well. Let's just wait for this to install and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. Um, basically, once the installation is done, it'll auto open Roblox for you. I went ahead and closed that window so I can actually show you guys how to find it in the future. Basically, you're gonna press your Windows key and you're gonna search for Play Roblox, just like this, and it's this one right here, this app. You're gonna go ahead and click that and it'll go ahead and start Roblox. Now we can go to close that. Also, it will be on your desktop as well, so you can also just click that. Um, but after we're in here, this is just like any normal Roblox, guys. So we're going to just join base plate now, and I'll go ahead and show you that the UI is indeed fixed. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and open up the executor. Let me do that real fast. Um, okay, so we're going to inject it. We're injecting the executor. It injected. And now we're going to go ahead and actually open up the launcher. One second, guys. I'm going to do it open all right as you can see we're fully injected and there is no black screen at all and we're going to go ahead and actually or i'm going to go ahead and actually show you guys if this does work so we're going to go ahead and go into f9 console and we're going to execute print uh print for test as you can see it does print test and we can also go ahead and go into script hub here and inside of script hub, we can go ahead and run emotes, uh, infinite yield, not remote spy, infinite yield. And as you guys can see, the walk speed works, everything's gonna be working. And yeah, so we can fly, all that good stuff because the script does now work without the black screen UI bug. 
Anyway, guys, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, I know it was short. Make sure to like and sub because it helps me out a ton. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.